Hello Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for the first half of February. A very happy birthday to my Aquarian celebrating. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what that energy looks like for the first half of the month. General advice as always, so please keep that in mind throughout this reading and take from it what makes sense for you as always and release what doesn't. So I'll be using the Pining Rose Love Oracle deck. This is by Calico Moon to take a look at the first half of your reading. If it happens to resonate with you, Aquarius, you're more than welcome to watch the extended reading on my Patreon page. That link, of course, will be listed down below in the description box. So let's get right into this. Let's take a look and see what it is that you need to know right now for Aquarius. February 1st through the 15th. Here we go. So we're starting off with a separation. All right. So take that if it makes sense that you are in separation from somebody. And maybe you're thinking about this person. We do have passion. Look at these cards. We've got red hot. Okay. We have letters. In today's world, of course, those letters could represent texts, emails, or it could be an actual letter or even a card that maybe they sent you or you sent them. And these two cards for me go together, you know, that very red hot passionate energy between two people. I feel like grabbing one more card here. So this is telling us you guys are not together. And maybe they're thinking about communicating here. All right, so, and I've explained this in like previous readings that I've done. The very first time that I used this deck, I saw the flames, right? And so I was thinking, I was just drawn to interpret it as, oh, you know, there's a possibility that this could be a twin flame connection. And then I'm thinking, okay, wait, I'm seeing three flames here. So maybe there's a third person that's interfering with this connection. So in a way, if it makes sense for you, there could be the possibility that part of the reason why you're in separation is because there could have been a third party, there could have been a love triangle here, or simply somebody who was interfering in your love connection. So let's go ahead and grab some insight from Tarot. I'll be using my Illuminated Star Tarot. This is volume one. Let's take a look at that energy. But as you can see here, it does say soon as well. So there could be a form of communication coming in. It could be around the corner, it could be coming in when you least expect it. Now, for some of you, that communication could be from a third party. Okay, so let's see. Let's take a look. All right, so we do have the Queen of Pentacles, Divine Feminine. So some of you could be an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. And if you happen to be cross-watching for a masculine representing the Aquarian energy here, it does seem, Divine Feminine, that you are in separation from your masculine. And some of you could have already had children together. The Queen of Pentacles is very maternal, very motherly energy. You could also be quite successful, maybe financially in your career. Queen of Pentacles, okay, able to stand on your own two feet. We do have the hangman here. So this is about letting go. This is about detaching in order to maybe get a better understanding of a situation or relationship. And sometimes we need to take a step back from that person to figure things out. And that could explain why there's a separation here. So it's about new perspectives. It's about being able to see things from a different angle, you know, to make room for better in one's life. So maybe you guys had to go into separation in order to maybe work on yourselves in the meantime. We've got the chariot. So some of you guys could also be dealing with a cancer specifically. If things haven't been moving as far as communication, as far as coming back together so that you guys are no longer in separation. There's a possibility here with that chariot that you guys can overcome whatever the struggles and challenges were. Because this is a very triumphant energy with the chariot. And it's interesting how we've got red hot right here. And then we've got the color red represented here as well as this person's shirt right there as well as the this chariot 
you know it's it's represented right here so maybe there's something about the color red which of course could be a very passionate color it's about true love perhaps we do have the four of swords rest relaxation recuperation so i feel and then this card comes right after it ace of swords so there's the opportunity for you guys to have another chance at this to have a new beginning now if there were third parties if there was someone else that was standing in the way of you guys coming together or that might have created drama in your partnership the ace of swords is giving you guys or somebody giving somebody the opportunity to cut that out so that two people who are in separation can find their way back together and the four of swords sometimes represents somebody who just needs some downtime to be able to heal to be able to kind of go within spend time on their own solitude giving you guys the opportunity to heal from whatever might have resulted in that separation we do have the ton of pentacles so somebody's definitely more financially secure here maybe you both are maybe you've worked very hard to be able to work on your career your livelihood whatever brings in the finances for either of you individually divine feminine for sure doing quite well this could be the masculine maybe in that area you guys are doing fine but perhaps when it comes to love when it comes to the relationship the romance something happened there that broke you guys up so part of these passions could also be what it is that you do for a living what it is that gets you fired up and it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the relationship it's whatever feeds your passions in life and of course that can include the partnership but it's not all of it and then we do have the full card so taking that leap of faith and welcoming in a new beginning a fresh start so it does seem here Aquarius that despite the separation you and your person have the opportunity to find your way back I'm also feeling for some of you that even though there's a part of you that would be willing to give this person another opportunity to be a part of your life, I'm just kind of feeling for some of you, maybe right now you're not ready. You need more downtime. You need to take a break from just being in a relationship or just being with this person. Because I'm also feeling part of this interpretation of the Ace of Swords if you're not wanting to get back together with somebody, then this is you just welcoming in a new chance, a new opportunity at love. And in order to start fresh in love, you have had to cut someone out of your life. And maybe that person got themselves involved in a third party situation. That seems to be what's presenting itself here. So I'll go ahead and re-explore this and see where this goes in the extended version of your reading, Aquarius, if that's something that you resonate with and you'd like to see where that goes. And if you are interested in your own personal private reading, that info is down below, as I've mentioned. And of course, the link for my Patreon page is there as well. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. <music>